It was, it was thoroughly irresponsible that we couldn't pass a corrections bill. There's never been a complicated piece of legislation where there isn't follow-on legislation to make the, the corrections. Republicans wouldn't let us take a bill up. They said the only bill they would consider would be repeal. They didn't even talk about replace. They didn't have a replacement, but they at least they didn't at least they didn't have a replacement. But then they had started to talk about repeal and replace, and then we found out they didn't have a replacement. They never thought it through, but they got a lot of mileage out of demagoguing it and telling people this is a terrible law. And, and well, it, the best anecdote is when people would come up in meetings that all of us experienced it, experienced it when some elderly person would come up and say, I don't want government help run health care. I'm on Medicare, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they really did not want those people to get insurance. They, they had what they had, and they, they didn't want to pay taxes for those other people. So it, there, there's a lot of ignorance about how the government and how health care works, and the Republicans played to that ignorance, and they're still playing to that ignorance on a whole range of subjects. You couldn't leave the, back, you know, you couldn't leave the, 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 the field you couldn't say, well, we now have the law. You just had to hang in there. And so many of the, of the solutions were really sort of jerry-rigged. You didn't know if they were going to hold up six months, 18 months, or a year, and what was going to happen. But you had to push forward. You couldn't leave the, the bill the way it is without, without an effort at these technical corrections. Huge ramifications uh, across the, all of the healthcare field and across state governments. And so you just had to push forward. I mean, you know, let's remember, this, this, this uh, uh, there, was a, there was a line set by, by the Senate leader that uh, Obama was going to get nothing, including you know, a second term. He was going to get nothing. And, and he never varied from that. So thinking you were going to get assistance, you're on your own. Start, start working on your own wounds here and get going. I mean, this, this, yeah, they blamed, they this blamed was such a, a, a break from the, the historical roles of the parties in the Congress and the government and, and how we govern. Yeah, they blame the president for executive authority when they refuse to use congressional authority. Yeah. Because so back refused. to the point, though, this was, they understood what we were doing. This was going to change things. Much as in 1960s with Medicare, with Medicaid, with, uh, with the civil rights law, the civil rights. We were setting a precedent here that could not be reversed in time. They can pick away at this, but the American public, when you poll them on these issues, they believe that health care is a right. They believe it ought to be universal in how we achieve that. That has not changed. In fact, I think we helped contribute significantly to those conclusions. And that's what Republicans are most afraid of, in a sense. And that's what they've got to worry about yeah. right now. That's their be problem. Because they, they want to repeal it and replace it, but they're, they, they would be so vilified. Uh, look, we went from people saying, I hate this uh, Obamacare, but I like the Affordable Care Act. 